Hi besties, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make your homemade glucose. Glucose is a very important ingredient in fondant icing, in candies, in sweets and any confectionaries. This recipe is so so perfect. In case you run out of glucose at home, then this particular recipe is for you. Make sure you watch this video to the end so that you'll be able to get the secret on how to make your homemade glucose. In a pan, add in one cup of granulated sugar and half cup of water. You can use granulated sugar, caster sugar or even powdered sugar. Keep that aside. In another plate, Squeeze out one tablespoon of lemon. Lemon is a must in glucose and I will tell you the reason. If you don't have lemon, you can use vinegar. Now this is our sugar mixture. Just give it a good stir and place it on your gas. Now please make sure your gas is on a low heat. Please emphasis on low heat. Once you place it on the low heat, keep on stirring until the sugar dissolves. Make sure the sugar dissolves. Once the sugar dissolves, then we are going to go in with our lemon. Please make sure you follow this step-by-step -step procedure so that you'll be able to get a perfect glucose. Now, the sugar has dissolved. Can you see? I just added in my one tablespoon of lemon. Lemon enhances the flavor of your glucose, but most importantly, it prevents crystallization. What I mean by crystallization is, if you don't add lemon into this particular glucose recipe, it will make the sugar to become strong or it will solidify the sugar. Besties, now you need to keep on stirring until it becomes thick, but there is a technique you need to use and that is the finger technique. When you're stirring, we're going to stir this for at least 8 minutes or 5 minutes on a low heat. Just keep on stirring. After every 1 minute, take some parts of the sugar, place it on the sugar uh, molecules, place it on a plate and do a finger test or a the rope test now the rope test means that if it is very sticky that means your glucose is ready can you see what i'm doing so the rope is not yet forming can you see i'm trying to see if the rope is going to form but it is not yet forming as it is meant to be so i will keep on staring please besties do me a favor like this video share this video with your friends subscribe to my youtube channel that is the only way you can support me and make sure you invite your friends to also learn with you so i just kept on turning until i got the consistency i want and let us check it again and please you need to be careful this particular mixture is very very hot so once you place um once you place your sugar on a plate allow it to cool down a little bit before dipping your finger in it so let's keep on stirring now get your plates and just place a drop of the sugar on the plate then use your finger and at least test it out so i just i'm just allowing it to cool down before using before placing my finger on the sugar while i stir please keep on stirring so this thing doesn't burn so i just placed my finger on it and i used my two finger to try towards to try to see if it is going to form that rope and can you see please just take your time to do this can you see the rope has formed can you see so our glucose is ready so once you are able to form a very thin rope like this it means that what your homemade glucose is ready don't overcook your sugar don't overboil your sugar because it can lead to crystallization it can also lead to your sugar getting burnt so i just upped my gas and i am going to allow this to cool for at least five minutes can you see how thick this is now it is still thin because my glucose is a little bit warm so i just transferred it first of all 
into a plate and I am going to allow this to cool down for at least 30 minutes or one hour. And after 30 minutes or one hour, can you see how perfect this particular glucose is? You can use it for your fondant icing, for your candies, for your sweets and the rest. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in my next video.